So there is, you know, this this long awaited choice that this person uh, needs to make or needed to make has, you know, is coming to an end. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped. Okay, so... Um, if you look in the description bar below, you'll see it say start of reading. Click on that and it'll bring you to the start. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but then pick up on your story, stick around as, oops, Stick around as there sometimes could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Going to take them in. And then I'll be back. So Aries, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking up is this being your side. Person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. I do apologize if you can hear that in the background. It's cash. This is the, for those of you who know my uh, little jack cheek. All right. So just to start on the parts, just looking at the recent parts or... Um, it depends on how far in the past this is, but there's something around a third person, a third energy in your thoughts. Um, I'm not sure what happened previous to this or to what extent this has some form of impact, but you know, there's some healing around that, fixing around that for you. Um, yeah, there's, there's an element of you wanting to kind of get to a better space emotionally when it comes to this third energy or this third type of setup. Interference, let's say interference. Um, for them, it's like they had to re-pull in the inner strength, really contain this inner beast. I'm not sure why, though, in order for them to kind of... It's like they had to consciously do that. There's a conscious focus on being able to maintain the inner beast, stay uh, stoic or sto yeah, stoic, uh, very much strong or pull on their strength while still kind of analyzing, analyzing, asking themselves those important questions, going deep within, you know, really kind of looking at certain things maybe they've not, really kind of processing, really processing. Bringing it to where it is at the moment, there is this recognition though. I love seeing the sun. I love seeing the sun as the center of the current state of the connection, which talks about a recognition of there being um, a positive impact, the blessing that you both have on each other's lives in some way, shape or form. There is this, whether you both recognize it or not, actually, but there is this um, positive impact that you have on each other's lives. For you, it's this focus, there's this desire, this focus on proceeding forward, moving forward, achieving something. It could be in connection with this relationship, but also to do with maybe your career as well, when you having the support of those around you, the support of maybe others, but there is this drive that you have, this moving forward to achieve something. Like I said, that could be and or uh, both in terms of career, something else, maybe a project, but also this this relationship, this connection as well. I feel like it, it's more to do with something outside of which brings us to the challenge, which brings us to the challenge. There's something around embracing an opportunity to build with this person. You, you, you are not clear on how to go about doing that, how to go about achieving that, how that's going to happen. There's something, there's a lack of clarity around 
that. I feel like there's a you find it quite difficult to put maybe a plan of action in place or um, figuring out how to move when it comes to establishing that with this person. Yeah, that was a bit confusing. Let's look at the surrounding cards. We've got the world. You wanted a change of perspective or perception, perspective on on this, on things. Um, let's let's touch on them first, and then we'll see how this kind of ties in because they're 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 showing up as needing to make a choice. There's a choice that they know they need to make, um, and they're having challenges around that making that choice, which is preventing them from taking some form of action, preventing them from taking some form of action. Maybe that action is tied into this opportunity. Maybe this action is tied into some opportunity in some way, shape or form, because this lack of choice is preventing them from taking action. And your thing is around this embracing this opportunity to start or build something new. So maybe you're waiting for this person to take action um, and you're trying to, trying to figure out how to move when it comes to to this. <laughs> if that makes sense. I hope you guys are catching it, keeping up because I tell you, sometimes when I do these readings, it doesn't make sense to me, but it definitely makes sense to you guys. All right. Um yeah, they wanted they wanting they wanted communication. They wanted to communicate about because they wanted to come to some form of decision they actually want to make this choice yeah make this choice for you it is the world let me let me just need to shed some light on this yeah you want to see see things different but you're still not wanting to, oh, ah, maybe you see clearly. Well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you wanted things to turn around. You wanted the Ten of Pentacles, but you're hesitant. You're hesitant, very slow moving when it comes to this. Look at that. Beautiful. These cards just feel <laughs> together. You know, we've got the wild cards. We've got the, the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the uh, Hermit card. These are major arcana. And then we've got the Ten of Pentacles, which represents fulfillment in a tangible way, physical way. You know, so that's ultimately what you're wanting, but there's hesitancy there. Hesitancy there. I want to look at this communication just quickly. Them wanting to communicate about a decision. Or they feel like, because they feel like they've come to some form of decision. Love that. Okay. But on the verge of... That was going to come out in the Justice card. She so guys should see that. I'm not going to take that. I'll put that there. Yeah, about the ten, eight of pens. About working, putting work into this. They're going to put work into some form of communication. But higher thing there, higher commitment that speaks of. Let's see what the two. Yeah, we've got that decision, that choice again. So this person's going to want to communicate. You know, communicate because they're wanting to, it's like they're kind of on the verge of coming to some form of decision about this, actually deciding on on this. Two of Pentacles on top of that again. About putting work in towards this high commitment. Okay. Okay. So this struggle that you have around this, embracing this opportunity to build with this person, to build something, might not be a struggle anymore because this person might take the reins on this. I say might because, of course, if this we move into the extended version, reader will dig deeper in, into actually what action is going to be taken. You know what the next step is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But as it stands, like I said, I'm just getting my website together, guys, and then I'll be releasing those. So look out for that. Um, but as it stands, hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly sales and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.